Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Shantanu Srivastava and I'm, today I'm going to show you how can you call a Power Automate via JS and the JS will function on a custom button. So for that, let's open a record here. Here we can see that we have a custom button named S and D made. Now when we click on it, here we can see that uh, welcome email has been sent success successfully. Click on OK. Let's see. Here we can see that we have received this email. So how can we achieve this kind of functionality? I'm going to show you in this video. For that, let's start from the scratch. So here we are at our Salesforce application. If I open any record, so we can clearly see we don't have that customized button which will call our Power Automate flow and send an email to our contact. So for that, what first we need to do we need to create a power automate flow so go to power apps open a solution where you want to create that flow and then click on new and make sure that you have application because we need to add a custom button here and go to automation here we could uh, give a flow name or and then choose that user i'm skipping this part search for request this one select this and give it a title like uh, and who can trigger you can select i'm selecting this one sample payload we need to give uh, start with curly braces what i need we need only contact id because we are going to take that contact id from our JavaScript function that we are going to write down and now click on done. So it is, it will give us this sample payload. And now uh, we need to add a new step here. We will add our micro select this data verse and we need to get that row, get that uh, contact record. Select get a row by ID. Table name would be contact. Row ID we will get from this. This one. Now we could save this flow. Once we save it, we will have this uh, HTTP post URL, which we will use in our JavaScript. Now we can see that we have this one. And now what I want, I want to send an email. To the email ID we will get from this action. Subject would be welcome on board. In body, we could write down hi. Now we'll save it. The next step would be I'm going to write down a JavaScript, and in that JavaScript function, I'm going to use this HTTP post URL. For that, open Visual Studio. So here I'm going to write down my JS. First of all, I will write down function. We will use primary control here. Now I will take form context. Now we'll take contact record GUID with uh, without their curly braces. Now we will use our 
power automate flow http url copy this and paste it here now we will add a loader it will all always help you now we will create a new http request object now we will set up http request post method call now we will set the header that we will sending json data now we will uh, write down a function which will run whenever the state of request will change if ready state triple equal to 4 so ready state 4 means that request is, is completed Then we will close our progress indicator and if request state if request successful then http 200 response will come we want that uh, open alert dialog that welcome email sent successfully else so this is my code, save it first. Now we'll uh, go back to our power apps. We need to add our web resource here. Copy this one function control C, save it. So now, web resource has been saved. Now, go to your application, click on three dots, add it in a new tab. We want to add a button or contact table so here look for the contact click on edit command bar main form now click on new command we, will, we are using js so click on javascript give it a name Select icon if you want. Now we'll add our library here. Click here. Search for the library, the web resource file that we have just created here. Click on add. Function name paste it here. Click on add parameter primary control and click on save and publish so now open prm and do a refresh
So here we can see that our customize button is here. Now click on it to check our flow. So for that, go to go back to our flow. So we'll check our flow here. Click on send email. Here I can see that our loader is working fine. So our loader is running and running, but uh, I think our flow hasn't been run. If we check, so we can see that there is no run history. So I think uh, there is some problem in our JS. Let's open it. Okay, contact ID capital I is there. Okay, here we can see there is an extra space. Contact type should be, should be capital T. Everything is fine. I will provide you this code in the link. Um, save it. Copy this. I'm going to show you how can we upload it directly. Just to refresh that one. Go back here. Open our web source and just paste it. Our updated code. Everything is looking fine. Now save and publish. Now it's been published. Go back, do a refresh. Now click send email. So it's showing that uh, error sending email. Please try again. Go back here. Now we can see that it's been upload has run. Let's see. Yes. So it has uh, sent an email, but we are still getting this error message here. For that, I think we need to add a response in our Power Automate flow. Click on Edit. We will add our action here response. Go to show advanced, generate a sample. Click on done. I think that's it. Click on save. We'll test it again. Click on send email. Now we can say welcome email sent successfully. Go back, we will check that. Yes, so response is now we are sending back the response. So that's it from our video. Hope you like it. And if you like it, please like and subscribe for this amazing content that we provide you every day. Thank you for watching.